Now that I have the prototype built, the next step is designing an algorithm that turns the hammer position measurements into a MIDI music signal. To design the algorithm, I need to understand piano hammer dynamics, so I'm using the, my prototype to record the hammer position measurements and send it via UDP Ethernet to my computer for analysis. To create a MIDI signal, the algorithm must encode which key was pressed, when the associated hammer hit a string, when the key was released, and the velocity of the, the hammer. So let's take a look at a single key strike in detail. A video of the hammer will be shown on the left, data from my prototype on the right, and a video of the key press along the bottom. So here we go. I am pressing the key. And boom, the hammer hits the string, then it falls back. Now I am holding the note down and the note is sustaining. The hammer does not go back to the rest position until I release the key. So there are two thresholds needed for my algorithm. One is the string location and the other is an estimate of the damper release. And then I also need to compute the velocity of the hammer. Actually, I should build a sensor for here to get the release location, but yeah, that's for a future project. Okay, there are a few complications. One is that the sensor height will certainly not be the same on all 88 keys. So those thresholds are not going to be quite where I think they are. <laughs> and when playing fast repeated notes, the hammer stays close to the string. This is easy to see with the data from my prototype system. So where is the threshold and where do I compute the velocity? And is there enough signal resolution to capture these close to the string effects? Another complication is that the hammer strike might not be clean. Now, maybe this bouncing scene here is only for the prototype system and will not happen in the final system. I don't know, but I would like my algorithm to be robust for something like this. I don't want false multiple strikes. Here is data for a playing a quiet note. The normalized hammer position is in blue at the bottom and the computed velocity is in red. Notice how noisy the velocity is, even with filtering I added. Again, maybe this is just the prototype system, but I think my algorithm must be able to estimate velocity in the presence of noise. Even for a loud note with a smooth velocity profile, notice that the velocity changes as the hammer approaches the string and flies off the jack. I need to take this into account, and for reference, I included the velocity calculation with filtering in this plot. Of course, the velocity is exactly zero when the hammer is impacting the string, so I certainly can't use that velocity. Finally, well, the hammer just might do weird things. Here I am playing, randomly playing keys, so my algorithm has to handle a wide range of playing dynamics. So here is algorithm, I'm calling it algorithm one. Imagine the hammer is going up, hits the string, bounces off, the note is sustained, and then releases. All right, so what I do is select a threshold, and the cool thing is it does not need to be a very exact threshold, which is important. And, and when the when the uh, the hammer is above the threshold and the velocity switches from positive to negative, that means the hammer went up and then switched direction. So that's the hammer striking a string, and this is what I call the time of the strike. I use the, the sign of the velocity to get the hammer strike time. To get the actual velocity of the strike, the algorithm looks back over a window and takes the maximum velocity over that window. That's the velocity reported to MIDI. The last part of the algorithm is, well, just in case I get a hammer strike that looks like this, kind of like I was showing before, I don't let there be another strike until a timer exceeds that exceeds a minimum threshold. And I use a set number of samples of the signal samples for that timer. And then I put a threshold at the bottom here to model the release of the key and the damper coming back to the string. Okay. Um, I have a few additional algorithms developed and maybe we'll cover them in a future video, but this one works pretty well.